Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the Star Trek manga. Why? Well, uh, you know, I've been kind of like, uh, basically, you know, kind of sad since the whole uh, hearing uh, the whole death of Leonard Nimoy thing. Rest in peace. And I've just been basically uh, binging my old, like, all sorts of different, everything Star Trek related. And one day I was at my uh, local library and I found some of my old uh, Star Trek manga that I purchased and donated. And um, I just picked it up and yeah. <clears throat> and I figured it would be a good thing to talk about. Anyway, um, this Star Trek manga, I'm like, I, I don't, I guess I don't really need much introduction on the whole what Star Trek really is, you know. You know, this crew of random people, they go across of the crew of people of varying um, expertise go and explore and and you know you know boldly go uh, <clears throat> on civilizations uh, no nobody's gone before yeah and um, and of course I figured uh, I think this would be a good thing to check out and um, if uh, you're a fan of the original series then I think you're gonna just gonna love this and if you're just a general fan of Star Trek, I think you're also going to love this. I mean, like, <clears throat> I, like the whole bunch of different stories. I mean, like, um, you want to see uh, Star Trek uh, versus Gundams? Done. Yeah, I know they're not Gundams, but you, you know what I mean. <clears throat> um, you know, and it's a fantastic. That that's just a fantastic story about um, you know the um, the uh, you know like. How, uh, you know, like these soldiers who are like supposed to be like bred for war, but then they realize, then they, then peace comes and they're not necessary. And yeah, and, um, whole things like about disillusioned veterans. And there's the story, another story called Side Effects, which is basically the original series crew versus the Borg. Yeah. So if you wanted to see, uh, Captain Kirk face, face off against the Borg, there you have it, and like, um, <clears throat> which, and that's kind of really interesting because like, the whole thing isn't just them versus the Borg, but it's also a sort of Borg origin story. So, it kind of gives us an explanation for why they don't like have records of the Borg from the, you know, <clears throat> from you know Kirk's days, you know, because they're like just starting out and like, yeah, but you can totally tell they're the Borg. Just by sort of looking at their overall aesthetic and stuff like that, and yeah, and um, and again, and this is just in the first volume, you know. There's also the uh, second volume, which has um, story that was um, the <clears throat> first story called I think it's Curate Ipsum, and. Um, you know, it's this story where the crew would go to, uh, the, um, you know, like they go, like there's an engineering problem thing, they're flunked all three over through space, and, um, and they go to the planet, and, um, they find, like, there's a, one of their, there's this plague around, one of their crew members gets sick, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, and of course they, you know, sort of find a cure, and it's all good, and, like one thing that's ex especially exceptional is that it was actually written by Will Wheaton from the Next Generation. For those of you who don't know, who played uh, Wesley Crusher, and um, there's also this one particularly funny thing, funny uh, story called the, the Trial, and um, <clears throat> I guess you could say it's like um, kind of, kind of. I guess you could say it's like Star Trek's like Phoenix Wright but with Star Trek or like Kirk is arrested for some reason although I guess I maybe Phoenix Wright would be the best um, thing to compare it to but you know it's just uh, the aliens putting them on trial and though initially like in concept you think the story is like really dumb but I think it's a fun enough story and uh, yeah and um this is just, these are the short stories that are in the first two volu volumes. I think the, uh, there's a third volume, 
and um, which is also it's I don't remember quite remember as well because well they didn't have it at the library so yeah and I also remember that there was a next generation manga uh, but really it really wasn't as good yeah <clears throat> and um, anyway my overall rating for the Star Trek manga is a decent 5 out of 5. Is a, yeah, 5 out of 5, like, if you're a Star Trek fan. You know, especially if you're a TOS fan. If you're not necessarily a, that hard of a Star Trek fan, and you're just sort of a casual Trek fan like me, then I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5. You know, uh, <clears throat> like I said, like, I'm more interested, I'm not, like, Short stories are okay, but I'm always, like, more interested in larger, more epic-type stuff, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, next time we're going to be taking a look at the comedy, the uh, action comedy of galactic proportions with... Yep, that's right. <clears throat> Until next time, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome Go by going to your local libraries and supporting them with, you know, patronage, money, and so on, and donations, and so on and so forth, and have a nice day.